talking about uh, Northern California. Right. Um, can you um, speak on that just a little more? Because a lot of people was kind of confused, like, how the fuck this white boy, or hey, he's from L.A., or how the fuck he going to say anything about the You, you notice culture? they always attack your identity, not the context of, or the content of your ideas. Uh -huh. So, like, all I was saying is that there's been legendary movements out of the Bay, out of, out of Northern California. A lot of it hasn't necessarily trickled down to the rest of the country. You know, you look at the, the Fizz movement, you look at all this shit, Mac Dre and fucking Andre Nicotina and all this Live shit. Live wire. Don't all this hard shit. That Say is, it. Live wire. Sure. Live wire. Live wire. Yeah, sure. thank you. But they, you know, a, a lot of times it doesn't necessarily translate to the whole rest of the country wanting to act like that person. Whereas, like, when 50 Cent came out... You could have took a drive to Iowa and you would have seen some fucking nerd who bought some G-Unit sneakers at the mall trying to look like he's in G-Unit, you know? And that was all I was saying is that when you look at the popping dudes that have come out of Chicago, in just for an example, they were kind of dressing like a way that immediately like translated to the rest of the country. Everybody wanted to be a Chief Keef, you know? Whereas the Bay has got a funky ass style, like a completely different uh, vibe to it. And in a way, like that's, you, you know, you look at the hyphy movement, it didn't translate to the rest of the country. 